A quiet town in the southwest slopes of New South Wales is where Mariam Rudd was arrested. It's a world away from where she had been living since 2014. In October, the 31-year-old was one of a group of four Australian women and 13 children repatriated from makeshift camps in Syria. At the time, the four women publicly stated, we are willing to do whatever is asked of us by government authorities to ensure the safety of our families and the Australian community and we will fully cooperate with all Australian law enforcement agencies. Now Ms Rad has been charged over entering and remaining in an area under the control of Islamic State. Police allege she willingly travelled to Syria in 2014 to join her husband, aware of his activities with the terrorist group. He died in Syria in 2018. Police say their investigation began when Mariam Rad was still in Syria, but they allege new evidence led to this charge. The maximum possible penalty is 10 years imprisonment. I think today's news, uh, I, have, I have no doubt with the, those ISIS families are being investigated by the police, would bring some kind of uh, assurance to the communities here. There are around 40 Australian women and children still living in Syrian camps. Save the Children says this police investigation shows it's possible to repatriate them while ensuring the safety of the community. If there is evidence that any of the women have committed crimes, then the appropriate place for them to be charged and prosecuted is in Australia, where we can put our faith in the country's robust judicial and national security architecture. The federal government says there is no ongoing threat. Kathleen Calderwood, ABC News.